Hi guys, today we're doing chicken gumbo and I have a guest with me, my mom. <laughs> See you in the kitchen. So the first thing I've done is put some chicken on to boil. I have about six thighs and a chicken breast at least. And I have already deboned this chicken. I have chopped up a, an onion, a large onion, and it's made a little over two cups of diced onions. Let's see, this is about three celery stalks and a little bit of um, kielbasa. kielbasa. Is that what you, how you call it? Yeah, well, kielbasa. Kielbasa. <laughs> okay. It's a sausage. Yeah. Alright, so Mom, I'm going to let you start uh, sauteing the onions and celery together. Okay. Are we going to saute that in butter? How about a little oil? A little olive oil. Yeah. Okay. So about two tablespoons of olive oil. Put it on about medium. Is that about medium? Yeah, it looks good to me. Okay. Now am I going to wait till this gets warm before I put the onion in? Yeah, I think that sounds good. Larry like a, a gumbo? Yeah. Good. Do you? I love gumbo. <laughs> <laughs> love gumbo. Alright, I'm going to get mine going again too and put this in here. And put this over here for you. Okay. What am I going to saute? The onions and the celery. Together or? Yeah, just till the onions get, you know, kind of translucent. Sounds good to me. Yep. I'm doing the same time or go do it? Yeah, go ahead. Put them both in. Yeah, yeah. I'll do the we'll do the uh, okra afterwards. Okay. So the reason why I chose to do the the uh, thighs and the chicken breast, the is because my husband absolutely hates getting those small bones like you get when you boil the whole chicken you know there's like the the bones from the backs and stuff like that that he, he just inevitably if anybody's going to get a bone it's going to be him and so anyway i thought that this would be easier to debone and it turned out to be pretty easy and there were no fine little bones to worry about so all right so we'll be back in a few i am going to add some garlic to I'm our sauteing onions and celery now, is this the size you want? How many? How many are we adding? A couple tablespoons. This big a tablespoon? Uh, make them even. Okay. Level, you know, level them off. Okay. How's that? Looks good. I mm -hmm. love garlic. That's good. Two tablespoons of garlic. Awesome. So the onions have become translucent, so we're fixing to add those to the chicken. Okay, now we're going to add some tomatoes. And as you guys know, if you watch my channel, these jars of homemade tomatoes, they're about the equivalent of one jar that you can buy. Here, go ahead and add another one. So two of those. Okay, it looks good. Okay. Add a couple of bay leaves. One. Two. Awesome. Let's go with the fourth of a teaspoon of thyme. Chicken and dumplings. You use thyme in your dumplings? You can. I don't think I've ever tried that. You like? Is that right? Yes. That's fine. You might have to try that. <laughs> Maybe you'll have to come over and help me again. Okay. How much parsley? Um, 
just kind of sprinkle it, you know, like probably about a teaspoon at least, and then and then just kind of see if it needs more. I like parsley. It kind of, you know, makes it look nice too, you mm -hmm. know, for appearance. Mm -hmm. Beginning to look good. Yeah. Use this thing I okay. Here's using. Okay. I think Will you grab that old bay? I wanna go ahead and put in like a fourth of a teaspoon of that. And we may add more of that if we like it. You know, I've used the Creo seasoning before, but it was a different brand. So I'm just going to try this and see. I've used this for other things, but... Okay, we'll just go with that. Okay, we'll bring that to a boil. I've never uh, used that Old Bay. I bet that's good. Yeah, sometimes I like to just kind of experiment. Of course, my husband, he's not hes not so crazy about when I experiment, but, you know, sometimes you just have to try things out. Okay, we're ready for this. Yep. Go ahead and add that. I appreciate you helping me out in the kitchen today. No problem. Appreciate you inviting me to supper. <laughs> Especially for chicken gumbo. Yeah, I like it. It's chicken. one of my favorites. One of my favorites. And too. I haven't done it in a long time, so I thought it was time to to get on it again. Yeah. Been yeah. doing any gardening? Nope, I don't have a garden this year. Our garden? Well, I got a few flowers, but not what kind. I got some purple coneflowers and I got some daisies that are fixing to bloom. Mm -hmm. And uh, I got my tall flocks that's they'll be blooming about a month, about four more weeks for them. Um, I think I've let my flower gardens kind of <laughs> get overgrown. I did get out there and weed them a little bit and make a spot for some, um, actually some garden stuff like cucumbers and zucchini and stuff like that but yeah and a tomato plant just kind of going small but anyway I don't even have tomato plants this year yeah my yard doesn't do very well because it's got mostly sand so anywho all right guys we're gonna let this come to a boil and then we'll come back and check it out olive oil, olive oil. and then we're gonna saute that okra a little bit Yeah, let it get hot. So we got the okra going now. Yep. Alright, okay. so let's add the okra now. Okay, I turned the burner off on the okra. Perfect, perfect. By the time we get through adding all this stuff, we're going to have a meal. <laughs> Yeah, I'll probably be eating on that in a while. Maybe sending some of that home with you. Sounds good to me. <laughs> I love your gumbo. It's looking really good. It's isn't looking it? great. Now we're going to make a roux, right? Yes. Okay. Alright, so. tablespoons of flour. Is your flour? Yep. Basically, this is 
is like making gravy. You know, you have your oil and, right. and your flour and uh, salt and pepper. Just kind of taste. What do you say about a teaspoon? Yeah. About like if I was going to do a pan of gravy. Show them your hand before you put it in there. Good job. Pepper? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Step up and sun. It does, especially <laughs> when you're on camera. <laughs> I'm just going to put the root in there, right? Yeah, after you get it brown, let's get it pretty and brown. Okay. So it seems to add color, you know, and, and plus thickens that quite a bit. And I really like it to kind of get a little brown. Get you something you can sink your teeth into. Uh huh. seasonings if you feel like they need more you can definitely add more I mean we've been discussing about adding maybe even a little bit more of the old bay which we may end up doing yeah because it's so good it, it's already tasting really good yeah we've been sampling in case you didn't know we didn't show that part but <laughs> Drop. <laughs> yep, that's the way you do when you're doing muffins. Mm, yeah, yeah. Mm, it's smelling so good in here, guys. I'm going to turn this down a little and 
let it simmer for a little while, and then we're going to serve it over some rice. Okay, I'm going to ladle it up. I'm going to serve it with rice. This is just instant rice, guys. Mine too. Okay. Two's enough for me. Well, that one was kind of scoopy. Here I go. I'll probably make some more for Larry when he gets home. Okay. That was a big test. <laughs> it's good. We didn't sample it. Oh, yeah. came and cooked with me today. I am too. Glad you asked me. Alright. That's a pretty bowl, isn't it? I like it. It's a pretty dish. Like Alright, let's go put it to the test. Okay, we can do it. Hmm. I'm kind of excited about this. It's good. Mm, it is good. What are we going to make next? Oh. I don't know. Mm. It'll be really good. Mm. 